Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for giving yourself that time taking care of yourself in every way you need possible if not please take care of yourself in every way possible being able to have that self-care being able to get that moment of peace of mind is truly a blessing when you can be able to open yourself up to receive it so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video also um if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know moi or even if it has to be about the positive feedback of the content of my video um or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with a loved one, a family, or friend, or even a fellow empath going through some really trying times right now and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Much love to you from the bottom of my heart, and thank you for the support. And today, I really love these peaceful meditation music that I'm picking out. It's called Good Night Sleep, Pure Deep Sleep Music, Calm Mind, and Positive Energy Music to Help Sleeping. And I will post that link in the description box below. I've been feeling this, and it's just like when you're in a good mood and you're grateful for everything and being able to send you know thanks and being grateful towards the universe and then on top of that getting that peaceful meditation is ugh, so beautiful but uh, my video today is about twin flame 101 hey okas even though we may have a long ways to go just look back and look how far you have come you know and that's true that is really true um I, i've been able to be blessed to have the most beautiful empathic family members in the community to be able to embrace that with you know some of y'all you, you know you just watch the videos and some of y'all you know uh, are comfortable enough to drop comments to let me know that things are resonating with you and you know you needed that 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 um that confirmation that things are going okay you know and it's, it, it can be really hard at times like if you're really struggling in a karmatic uh karmic situation you're dealing with a car, uh, karmic cycle and it, it's just like sometimes you need that reassurance that you know hey you're being hard on yourself you know be gentle because you have came a long way you know you have to be gentle with yourself i have to keep be telling myself that as, uh, as well because when you experience the things that you experienced already in life and on top of that spiritual awakening and you're still live living breathing to be able to tell that 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 says a lot you know when i went to my daughter's graduation yesterday the valedictorian was talking and i was just in tears because she was allowing me to feel that validation that all the, on, on the things that I was letting go of in my life because I chose happiness over pain and sorrow in that dark spot you know darkness and the devil is really trying so hard to place me there because it's just the fact is look at how many people I've been able to help giving you some kind of peace and understanding and confirmation towards your life devil doesn't want that darkness does not want you to be able to darkness wants you to be alone in solitude feeling all somber and all that other junk but god has allowed me to be able to experience the things that i've been experiencing to be able to tell you the things that you will overcome so it, it's just like you have to be able to look at the you know from your spiritual awakening if you've been doing this for a while being able to allow things to settle with you finding out the gifts that has been placed upon you you know that that that's a you know that that takes a lot you know because it's, it's just like if you have been so closed-minded and sleep for so long I don't really like using the word ignorance but you know not to call somebody stupid but the ignorance of not knowing oneself of the gift that has been placed upon you you know those can be very 
you know, shocking because sometimes people don't believe in the afterlife. Some people don't believe in dimensions, the bond dim dimensions. You know, we probably know about five or six, but there's like a billion dimensions that have not even been discovered yet. You may have throughout dreams, portal jump jumping, astral pro projection, lucid dreaming, all these different things. And it's just like, with you being able to endure the things that you are enduring and allow things to go with the flow, because a lot of times we have a bad habit of, and I was telling the love Doug this day, today, because I've been, I'm, I'm being fault at it too. You know, I don't try not to get on to people if I've never experienced that. You know, I'll tell people, hey, I've never experienced that. But if I was to go through that, now I said, this is an if, you know, I try to do that because I try not to give, you know, uh, advice towards things that I've never been able to do. You know, I just try to give you uplifting comfort and, you know, that loving comfort that you need, you know, um, going through these trials and tribulations. But, you know, telling people, you know, we have a bad habit of trying to do everything on our own when the universe is trying to send signs of, like, let me help you, you know, allow yourself to see in this different perspective, allow yourself to see this in a positive light, even though it's a ne negative experience. You have to be able to, you know, you have to be able to see past the smoke and mirrors. You know, everything that we think that is happening to us may be very stressful, may be very dark and sad and, you know, stressy, <laughs> very stressy, you know. Um, but then when you can look past all that stuff, like when you're scooping all that stuff aside, like you have a whole bunch of papers and stuff on your desk and you, you know, that's how our life is. It's just like when you're not organized, you know, you don't have things filed up in sections like how you need to deal with things like your bills, you, you know, your thoughts, you know, these things this piling up and you're just like, you have all these papers thrown down and you're trying to be able to figure out things with the whole messy desk. You know, some people are able to work like that. Me? No. Because <laughs> it feels like my life is in shambles. So with me having OCD, um, you have to be able to file things out in a different section. You know, your happiness, your dreams, your wants, your, you know, your bucket list, your stressful stuff, you know, all these things you have to have labeled because a lot of times we try to do everything on our own instead of just going with the flow. You know, you're trying to have, find that solution to that problem, which, you know, you never know that this is trying to work itself out. You know, you're probably seeing signs like, okay, you need to let this go. You need to stop putting so much into it. Or, you know, if you're not doing that, then you know, you need to work on it. But if it's just like something that you're constantly getting signs to say, okay, allow yourself to let these things work out for itself because the universe has your back, you know, because um, a lot of times when we're trying to find problems, you know, solution to a problem, we're creating more problems, you know, for ourselves because you're overthinking things, you know, you have to be able to pay attention to your dreams, see the, the signs that are resonating with you. It's just like when she was giving that speech yesterday, you just see me just right you know, because my daughter was sitting to me, she was sitting next to me, she's like, Mom, they're speaking facts. I said, Amen. Yes, they are. And I'm just sitting up here wiping my eyes because when you have a beautiful future ahead of you, we can't have that ball of, but what if this doesn't work out? What is that? You know, if this has happened to me, that the universe know what the heck happened to you. The universe already know that things were orchestrated in your life for you to have to go through this, for you to be able to find yourself out that rabbit hole. And a lot of y'all are doing a hell of a good job. You really are. There's a lot of y'all I just haven't known yet. I can feel your energy, but, you know, it's up to you to be able to open up to me. I can't make that happen. You know, but, you know, a lot of videos that I've been placed out, you know, the universe has sent me to want to talk about certain things because there's a lot of people who are not giving their self where credit's due. You know, there's a lot of y'all. And y'all know which ones I'm talking about. I ain't going to put you out there like that because it ain't nobody's business. But you know when you have not given yourself credit when credit is due. Because you went through a lot. There's a lot of things that, you know, I can feel that, you know, you have, you, you might tell me the minimal, but just for the fact that you're opening yourself up to me and I allow myself to be able to read you, I know that you've been through a lot. And I'll tell you, you have been through a lot for you to talk so articulated, you know, and very smart and very strong. I feel power behind your words. I feel so much power behind your words, but you have to be able to feel that too. And I had to do that for myself now. It's just like yesterday was like a revelation for me. <laughs> it was a revelation for me because I was able to see all the beautiful things. All the things that I've endured has brought me to this moment right now. 
has brought me to this, brought me to this moment right now for me to be able to say I'm glad because this pain and sorrow and trauma that I've endured allowed me to see there was more strength and more courage and more love than I've ever imagined. And that is a beautiful blessing. And I, when I looked at it, I'm telling you, and I'm trying not to cry because I had to be grateful for me to be able to endure these things. Sometimes you don't realize that the hell that you're enduring is something you had to go through to be able to help somebody else. They're trying to find themselves out that prison of sadness, that prison of trauma, you know, the, the mishaps that a person that has been placed upon them to where you felt like you didn't want to breathe anymore. That's that blessing out of that. Um, for me to be able to help others that way, it, it it put a lot of understanding to the reason why I had to endure the things I've endured. Y'all send me validations about that every day, every day. And you know, and it's just like, you have to be proud of yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself because you have really came a long way. You have. And um, being able to know, you know, life is hard. It is, especially for empaths, it's hard as hell for us because we feel everything. You know, the joy, the pain, the happiness, and the sorrow. Uh, <laughs> and I feel each and every one of you. And it's a beautiful thing because it's like y'all touch my heart in so many different ways. And just to be able to know that I can be a part of your journey to be able to give you that reassurance that everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. You have to just give yourself that chance. Don't beat yourself up because you have came further than you ever realized. Yeah, you might not be at that point where you're ready to, but you don't don't discredit yourself for not almost being there because you deserve that in your life. You know, it's just a lot of us have went through things just for us to be able to let people know, yes, I've been through this. I've overcome it. And you can too. So be proud of yourself. Even though, you know, you might not be able to see the blessings that are coming in your life. Universe is sending you signs each and every day. The things are letting you know. Snippets of the things that just the things you've been praying for is about to be enhanced ten, th ten times fold. Just because the fact is you're you're going out your way to heal. Being able to see that silver lining and those clouds of rain. Being able to pray for the sunshine, but being able to dance into the rain, into that sunshine comes out. So give yourself that credit. Give yourself that self-love and reassurance. You know, even though I don't understand my, my journey as, as yet, if you don't understand that journey, but give yourself that time and you will see the reason why you had to go through the things you had to go through. So before I get any more emotional, I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. You know, I send y'all virtual hugs and know that you will get through whatever you are facing right now. I, I, I put that on my heart to know that I send that reassurance out to you. Just just give yourself time. Okay, um, I'm going to give my post notification shout out to Official YG and Ritz Crackers. And I will talk to y'all in my next video. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I hate being emotional, but you know, y'all touch my heart in so many different ways, and it's just a beautiful blessing. So, you know, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And always know that somebody's out there praying for your better days. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop that line, and give me a thumbs up and also share. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.